Okay, getting a little bit more work done today. I'm gonna start working on some of the intercooler stuff. I already finished up putting this elbow on this side. It's just like a cast 90. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'll start by cutting this whole flange off and then we'll weld it on. Angle of this turbo is almost 62 degrees. That was right around 60 right now. So I'm gonna make sure that I weld it on in a point where that's gonna be around 62 and try to get it coming out about in the same spot as that one. I also did go ahead and weld some AN bungs onto the radiator. So I have a 16 AN there, a 20 AN down on the bottom. So I'll be able to do a nice short little run from here to here. I'm gonna weld another AN fitting onto that. Probably not that exact one, but I'm gonna weld a fitting there. And that way we'll have all AN lines for the coolant system. Like the idea of AN lines, it'll be a little bit safer. Don't have to worry about blowing a hose off and it'll be quick to disconnect everything. Won't have to deal with any hose clamps. And speaking of not dealing with any hose clamps and anything, I'm going to be using these PQY quick disconnect couplers. And these are like 35 bucks on Amazon. So hopefully they all work pretty good with no leaks because that's a really good price for these things. I, I really like them so far. All right, so I got the first quick connect fitting welded on. Just got done welding up this one here. Looks kind of cool like that. Welds turned out okay, welding the cast to the flange piece. I'm just going to let this thing cool a little bit, then we'll put it on. So my plan here for this is to come straight out of the intercooler, and then down like this, and then straight into that other V-band. So this is just a piece of a mandrel bend 180 that I cut in half. So here's the other half, I just wrapped it all in tape so I don't scuff it up and scratch it while I'm working with it. So I think what I'll do is I'll completely finish this side, and then I'll show what that looks like, and then start working on the other side. Two issues, I don't have Blofelds yet, and I don't have, I don't have an intake yet. I don't even know what intake I'm going to go with. I think I'm going to go with a like a Trailblazer SS intake. I don't really feel like doing a high ram. Uh, the high ram comes out really far. I was thinking about maybe an Edelbrock intake and I think right now it just comes down to, to cost because I got a lot of stuff I got to buy yet for this thing and it's going to take a long time. So I'll probably just plan it out for the Trailblazer SS intake and then I still got to order the blow-off valves and stuff. I think what I'm going to do just to keep it symmetrical is I'm going to do two blow-off valves and I'm going to come straight out the bottom one on each side and then straight out the bottom of the tank there. So I went through the parts list the other day. I started to make a list of like stuff I needed to buy for this and I was thinking I was a lot closer than I really am. So I'm still looking at like over seven grand in parts yet that I need to buy for this thing, which I wasn't expecting it to be that much. So that's kind of going to push the project out a lot farther than I thought it was. I was hoping for maybe like this year or end of the summer get it out, but I don't know if that's going to be realistic. Because I know it looks like we're getting there, but I still don't have, like I said, intake, mufflers, exhaust, fuel system. I don't have any of the fuel system parts. Wheels and tires. I got to finish the transmission. So that's like input shaft, forward hub, new clutches. And this transmission is the one that got metal through it. So a lot of the parts in here might not even be good. I got to do a converter. So that's like 1200 bucks. And then a lot of like other little stuff like the AN lines, that's going to be probably two to 300 just for the AN lines for the cooling system. I haven't paid for the heads yet because I'm having a set of ported heads done. So I paid half of that and I'm still waiting to pay for the other half of the heads. The heads should be done in about a week and then I'll pay the other half. Cam, push rods, oil pan if I want to do an oil pan. So yeah, just a bunch of stuff where I was thinking I was like maybe a couple thousand away, but I'm a lot farther away than I thought I was. So that kind of sucks. But we kind of knew that going into this, right? Like it's going to be more expensive. I'm taking my time on stuff. I'm kind of doing things the way that I want to do them. You know, instead of just throwing on parts that will work. I'm waiting a little bit longer to be able to buy the parts and do stuff a little bit nicer. So hopefully you guys don't get too bored looking at this stuff. I know probably used to mean like knocking stuff out pretty quickly, but we're doing it differently this time. So the real downside to doing it this way with like the elbow welded on and then the quick connect welded on there is if I do have any issues with these turbos that wreck the housing, I won't be able to just quickly bolt a new one on. I'll actually have to weld a new one on so that's definitely a risk with doing it this way but i think it should turn out in a way that i'm going to be happy with but we'll see let's get the other one bolted on okay so i get this side all kind of situated i did weld halfway around here because i just welded it while it was in place and i, I gotta take the intercooler stuff off and then finish welding the bottom side but i did put the coupler on there everything works good and i can just pull the pin out of here and coupler should come off yeah, I can get it all one-handed then I just got to pull this little sleeve back and uh, now it's all disconnected so that's how easy it is to do just with one hand I don't have one of the o-rings in there so it slid back a little easier than normal but 
you get the idea. And then intercooler will be bolted on from the front. I think I'm gonna use this bottom hole as like a peg, as like an alignment hole or a dowel. So I can put this on easily, slide it onto the dowels, hold it in place with one hand and then start to hand thread the bolts in. Then I don't have to worry about like trying to line up the holes to get the bolts in or anything. I can just slide it right on the dowels, make it easy. So yeah, now I'm gonna get going on the other side and I'll just try to match this angle up the best I can. I did use the angle finder and put it on here. It was 26 and a half degrees. So I'll try to match that up as best I can on the other side. Well, there it is. Got both sides done now. This side turned out okay too. The angles aren't exactly the same, but I think that is just because everything is pushed over a little bit for the drive line. But overall, everything welded up okay. It just kind of took a long time to do everything. So not even sure what I'm going to be working on in the next video. I also don't have all the components for the Holly accessory drive yet. I'm waiting on the, the water pump manifold, which the alternator and AC compressor, all that stuff bolts to. So still waiting on that. Haven't even got a, gotten a shipping notification yet. So that's kind of the other deal with this is like everything I order is taking a really long time to get here. But yeah, we'll see where we end up. So I'll take you guys outside quick and show you what else I got going on. We got some trees down here. We're cutting down two trees in the yard. We had some storm damage late last year. So some of the fence panels were taken down. So we got a whole new fence put up there. The rest of this tree here, the rest of that's going to come down. The reason we're doing this is we're putting a big greenhouse here. Currently using this 8x10, but we're going to go to a 24x40 and we're going to do like an aquaponic setup. That's the plan. So taking all this stuff down, tree's going to go away. This big one here, we're probably going to build like a tree house around it for the kids. But yeah, this is kind of just a big mess. So we've been working on this over the last few days. All right, so I came back in because it's a little windy out there. So I don't know if the camera was picking up the wind. So doing that stuff. So between this and doing that, we're gonna have a lot going on this summer. So my wife and I are also planning on starting another channel for the greenhouse stuff. So we do a lot of gardening already. So we're kind of expanding that and then we're taking on the aquaponics setup. So aquaponics is basically when you have the fish in the water and then the plants feed off the nutrients from the fish. So that'll be a fun project for us. If you're interested in that stuff, I'll let you know when I start a channel. Let me know in the comments if that's something you guys are interested in at all. So either way, we're going to do that. Um, my wife's been wanting to make a channel for a couple of years now. I've been trying to get her to do it, but she's not quite comfortable in front of the camera. So I try to get her out here to work with me a little bit and be on camera and start the other channel. See how that goes. If you made it this far in the video, I do appreciate it. Thanks for watching and stick around for the next one.